Steelers have an absolutely woeful time in the preseason. As we head into the regular season, though, let's recap what happened in these three games. Roll it. From my head to the sack, I never felt so low. And I can't hold my back, feel it when I'm alone. Take the glass, fill my neck, till there's no feeling left. Drown myself for the high again. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Terrible Tal Talk. I am Corey Caustic. Here is the Caustic fan, and we are talking Steelers football today. So, um, I do want to say real quick, uh, thank you everyone for bearing with me while my studio looks like this. Um, I'm moving in a few days and, you know, I'm hoping that by the time my Ohio State week one recap is up, I'm hoping that um, my studio looks better than it does now. So, um, fingers crossed, we'll see no later than o- OSU recap um week two will will we be up and running so the Pittsburgh Steelers wow where to even begin so Steelers go 0-3 in the preseason and um you know Mike Tomlin has made a habit of saying the preseason is not about results it's about uh getting your Getting your plan together, getting what you want to do um, solidified. That's all well and good. Um, We were kind of woeful to watch this preseason. So let's recap real quick. Uh, Preseason opener, we played the Houston Texans. We wound up going down 17-0 to the Texans before eventually falling uh, 20-12 projected third string quarterback Kyle Allen getting a touchdown and uh Dejon Edwards or Dewan Edwards getting uh the other touchdown no extra points made no two point conversions fall to the Texans uh week 2 we wound up playing the Buffalo Bills and what can only be described as one of the worst offensive showings that has happened for the Steelers in quite some time. Um, only a field goal generated, only three field goals generated by Buffalo. Steelers dropped 0-2. Justin Fields, 11 of 17, showed a flash of being okay. Um, and uh, no touchdowns. Just dreadful. So then we get to yesterday's game, week three. In Detroit, and finally something may have actually clicked for our two, our top two quarterbacks. Um, first drive led down the field by Russell Wilson, um, ends in a 31-yard run by uh, Cordero. <clears throat> excuse me, Cordero Patterson, and um, then Justin Fields leads another drive down to put the Steelers up 14 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. I thought the Steelers were about to roll this game. Um, Steelers do eventually fall apart, wind up losing 24, 17 to the Detroit lions in Detroit. Um, Justin Fields, no touchdowns, Russell Wilson, no touchdowns, but the offense did look far more effective in the one drive that Russell Wilson had. So, yeah, um, I, I'm a little concerned, to say the least, following the preseason. The the Steelers have given me very little confidence in their offensive capabilities heading into the campaign. Um, we open on the road against Atlanta, um, 1 o'clock game on Sunday the 8th. I just, <sighs> Atlanta's a three-point favorite. Um I worry about the Steelers this season. I do. Um, So, offensive line has been poor this preseason. Um, And I understand that, you know, we lost uh, Herbig to injury. That's a problem in its own right. But, you know, this is football. It happens. Um, Players get hurt in preseason, during camp, whatever. 
really bad that we lost our starting center. Um, it almost certainly means that Frazier is going to be our, stent, our center for this season, assuming he doesn't get hurt too. Uh, but the O-line was not good this preseason. Um, I'm not putting all the blame for our offensive woes on them. Justin Fields and Russell Wilson certainly carry plenty of the blame. But, um, yeah, they just weren't good. And we have a tough schedule this season. I'm not concerned about defense. Um, I actually think our defense will be just fine. Um, but the offense has to be there for them. They have to give them something to defend. This can't be more seasons of the Steelers having everything in defense and nothing in offense. We just went through, you know, the last couple seasons of Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett showed some mild flashes, but then nothing came of it. He is now a Philadelphia Eagle. Um, Trubisky was an absolute disaster from the get-go. Uh, he looked afraid every single time he was about to get hit. Um, not great. The only like proper quarterback we had in the last few seasons since Ben Roethlisberger left was Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph is a Titan now. <laughs> so we are pretty much dependent on Justin Fields and um, uh, Russell Wilson. I am really hoping that Russell Wilson has that flair that he used to. At least even like 60% of the skill and ability that he used to have would honestly probably do the job with this team. We've got weapons. Van Jefferson, George Pickens, Najee Harris, Jalen Warren, out for four weeks, but he'll be back. We got weapons. Pat Fryermuth, for God's sake. I'm I am truly concerned about this this season. I don't think we're going to be last. I don't think we're going to be last. Um I think the Browns will be last again. Uh cuz the Bengals and the Ravens are going to duke it out for this division title. I think that much is pretty blatantly clear. Um Lamar Jackson is hard enough to stop, but now he's going to have Derrick Henry working with him. Um you know the Bengals are going to have Joe Burrow back. If he stays healthy, I think it's very likely that the Bengals are fighting for the division title. If Joe Burrow's not healthy, the Bengals are going to finish last. So where do I think the Steelers are going to finish? Second or third. More likely, I lean towards third. I lean towards a 10-win season. There is... There's always something screwy that happens in the... AFC North. And the reason for that is because all of these teams are trying to kill each other. <laughs> the The beauty of the AFC North is that all of these teams want to cause each other harm. I think the Steelers have the defense to do it. The only question I have is what is the offense going to look like? If Russell Wilson is a good, a good quarterback, not great, good I think the Steelers will make the playoffs and fight for the division title. If he's terrible again, like he was in Denver, I would probably say that third is a very reasonable expectation then. Justin Fields is not good. And that's a that's a damn shame for me because Justin Fields in college when he was with Ohio State was lights out. He was such a good quarterback when he played for Ohio State. And I think the Chicago Bears just ruined him. <laughs> I, I truly do. He, he holds on to the ball too long. When he fails to make a read, or like when, when he makes his first read and that fails, he seems to get happy feet and he panics. He fumbles the ball. He makes very ill-advised throws. So, as much as I want the Steelers to be the Steelers of old, the the steel curtain fighting for Super Bowls every year, I don't think that's going to happen. I think the Steelers win 10 games this season. I think we continue our bullshit trend of, of uh, consecutive winning seasons, and we kind of just continue on this path of mediocrity. Um, yeah, it, it, it's... 
I, I loved my youth being a Steelers fan, but this is not the same Steelers team. Um, but, you know, I do trust in Mike Tomlin as a coach. I do. I think Mike Tomlin brings out a lot of a lot of the good, a lot of the skill in these players. I just need him to find that bit in Russell Wilson and make him make him like a six, a 60 to 70% of what he used to be quarterback. That's what I want. I think we'll be fine if that's the case. I'd like to have a home playoff game. I don't know if that's a possibility, though, with Baltimore in this division right now. But we'll see. You know, long season, injuries happen. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to change before the season kicks off. So let me know what you think, uh, Steeler Nation. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, Tell me what you think. Do you think the Steelers are going to be competitive this season? Or do you think that the Steelers are going to be frustrating, disappointing, like they have been the last few seasons. We are well into the post Ben Roethlisberger era, and boy, do we need a new, a, a true blue quarterback. So we'll we'll see how this goes. But I am Corey Costic. This is the Costic fan. See ya. How can I-